In this video we're going to talk about adding additional detail to the body of your uh, packages. So for instance, here's my cover sheet with the part production, setup, cleanup and so forth. Let's say we go to the uh, setup operation and maybe we want to add some additional information in here regarding the clean press area here. So what we want to do is we want to come in here and we're going to add some additional rows. So just highlight the rows and nothing special here, just going to insert the rows here. And this means we can use this whole area down here to put any information we want. For instance, I might be able to click on the video here, plays it back. Maybe I want to grab a, a snapshot of the guy uh, doing this cleaning up here, right? So you can see there's a snapshot button down here. This is very useful for taking uh, snapshots from the videos if you use videos in your processes. So I'm going to play it back. I'll just grab a, a snapshot there of the guy using the brush to clean the area here. And um, let's say we close out of this now. I can take the snapshot. I can put it anywhere in this area between the operations here. So this is whole area here is available for me to do anything I want. If I need a bigger area, I just add more lines or I can stretch the lines here just by dragging them down and so forth. So let's say I wanted to add the picture over here. I might drop it maybe in here and just paste it in here. Now notice when the, the picture comes in here, it's actually going to contain a label on it saying that it came from Time of Pro Professional and clean the press areas that we have here. So we can shrink this down. And then what I need to do is I need to make sure I shrink it so that it fits within the area between two and three here because the program is actually going to copy this as you move things around. It's going to copy this process over and over again. So you want to make sure you have it in within this area you see here. You don't want to have it overlapping. This would overlap with operation three. That wouldn't work or overlap with operation our task number one here, it, that wouldn't work either. It wouldn't recognize that, it wouldn't pick it up here. You want to make sure it's exclusively in here so you can do it like this here, right? Then you might put some uh, uh, other issues in here. So you might have a safety issue here, right? So you might want to copy this guy and put it in here and just put a little paste that right in there. There's a little icon there. So we're going to put a note in here and just say, uh, ensure the machine is turned off. It's kind of important issue there here. And you could put other any other information you want in here. So again, if you want to just add additional data and information like part number safety and that type of thing, insert some rows here and include the uh, your content within this stretch between the one element and the next element here. Now, if you're dealing with the element at the end of your process, the last element, uh, make sure that you put any associated material within 10 rows of the last element here. So in other words, in this case, if I put anything down at line 32 that was supposed to be in this, uh, it, w it wouldn't pick it up. You have to put whatever content you want. Now you can have any amount of content, but you have to make sure that it starts with at least within 10, 10 rows of the last uh, element here. As soon as the program finds 10 blank rows, it assumes that it's finished there and it will not copy anything else for you right there. So you can see here I've added some additional information about the guy needing a brush and here's very important that he must uh, clean the mold surface before he moves with it to a different mold. So you can put anything you want in this area, part numbers, safety notes, pictures, icons, anything that you would typically use in work instructions you can put right in here. Now once you've made your updates, don't forget to save it. Now notice we're on revision 1 here, we're just going to update the revision 1 of this. So that's going to save that and that will be carried forward to all future revisions that we make of this particular process automatically.